In today's video, we're going to look at some other applications of the compound interest formula. Namely, how do we solve for some of the parameters other than the future value or present value of the formula, something like the annual rate or the total number of periods. So let's take a look at the problem here. Suppose we have $1,000 uh, in a savings account. And after six months, you know it's earned $50. It's, we know it's compounding daily, and we want to know what the annual rate is. Okay, so the first step is turn on the calculator. And we go to the TVM solver, which is under the applications, choose finance, solver. So now we want to fill in the various uh, information that we want. We want to solve for the annual interest rate here. So for uh, a six-month period, we can enter, say, 6 divided by 12, or if you know that, 0.5. You could just enter 0.5. Uh, the present value, we started with $1,000 in the account. And the payment, we're making no payments. Um, monthly, daily, or whatever. Uh, the future value of the account, we know, is going to be uh, $1,050. Now, I'll enter this as a negative 1050. Uh, the reason for this is that the calculator treats deposits and money received in a cash flow manner. So, if you put $1,000 into the account from the viewpoint of the account after six months, you're going to get $1,050 out of the account. So when you put it in, it's positive. And you take it out, it's negative. So let's see. Payments per year, we were going to just have one payment. But it's going to be compounded, say, 365. We'll make it daily compounding to start with. Uh, let's see. Now, we wanted to find what interest rate this was going to give us. So we go to the I percent and say solve for that by pressing the alpha and then the enter key. And there it gives us 9.76%, like that. If we wanted to change this to uh, monthly compounding, then all we have to do is to go down and change the 365. 12. Then we can go back and solve for I percent, alpha enter, and notice it's a slightly uh, higher uh, rate. Okay, so that's how we could find the annual percentage uh, rate there. Uh, now, take a look at the second part of this. Supposing we wanted to find a time variable. In other words, supposing we had a 6% account, a 6% compounded monthly account, and we'd like to know how long it would take to double. Well, okay, so we want to find the end period here. Our I percent is 6. If we start with 1,000, okay, that's fine. We can go down and we want our future value to be, we want to double, so I should put minus 2,000 now. And let's see, we're going to do this compounded monthly. So we'll keep the 12 there. And then let's go back to the N value. And we can then solve for the N. And it gives us 11.58 years. Well, you can have to convert years to months yourself. Well, so what we've looked at is how you use the TVM solver here to solve for some of the other uh, variables which are not directly calculated, uh, you'd have to use a little algebra if you were going to do it with the formula directly. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll take a look at some other uh, of these applications in future podcasts.